Hey, welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn. Today is my anniversary. Andrew is out at uh, Ham Radio Operators Festival. He's having a good time. And because he had to travel some distance, he is actually going to stop off at our favorite Chinese restaurant and bring home some takeout. So I'm going to do very little cooking today. But I did want to mark the occasion with a special little dessert for him and I. Um, we're going to make a lemon cream um, parfait. We're going to use the Girl Scout Lemon Up Cookies as our crust, so to speak. We're also going to be using some of my homemade microwave lemon curd, some whipped topping. Um, I have the signature select kind. Anything will work. Even real whipped cream. But like I said, I'm not doing much cooking today. But while I was at it, what I had to do was go ahead and get out all of my meal prep things for tomorrow to thaw because I like to get Sundays or my day to get prepared for the week. So not doing a whole lot of cooking but did have to grab a few things so let me just show you what i pulled out of the freezers to thaw here okay i took out a loaf of bread because we might have sandwiches we will probably have sandwiches usually at least one day is sandwiches i took out some chicken breasts and with that i'm going to make a chicken bacon broccoli bake with rice and we do not call it a casserole at my house because if it is a casserole then it is automatically on the meh side but if you call it a bake then it's all good i don't know he's weird i took out a t-bone steak to thaw a 16 ounce package of bacon half of a 32 ounce block of Colby Jack cheese to thaw. And from this, I will be making sliced cheese and then probably also blitzing some up in the food processor for shredded cheese later on in the week. We've got all of our stuff to make our lemon whip parfaits, lemon cream parfaits. And look at these. These are, such, these are so cute. I bought these years ago at a little thrift store flea market kind of a thing the and i have a set um the individual little parfait cups andrew loves anything that's individual individualized individual servings i'm happy to accommodate him i've accommodated him for 29 years what's one more day right he's worth it he's totally worth it anyhow i'm going to go ahead and get these items into the refrigerator to thaw and what I typically do is grab a baking dish and then my potentially hazardous foods, anything that might leak or cause some kind of disturbance in the refrigerator universe. I put those all into my baking dish like this. So if there is a problem, it does not contaminate my entire refrigerator. But I don't put ready to eat foods in this to thaw because if my chicken leaks i don't want the chicken juice to maybe get inside with my cheese because at that point i would not eat the cheese it would be cross contaminated and that would just be a no so these will go on a different shelf and i'll go ahead and put these on the lowest shelf in my refrigerator yeah, I will put these on the lowest shelf in my refrigerator. So if there is some kind of terrible mishap, it does not cross contaminate everything in my refrigerator. Safety first. E. coli is no fun. Okay, I've got the food processor out. And I've got my little Girl Scout lemon ups. I bought these from my little niece, uh, Libby. She's adorable. She's six. She's in Girl Scouts. And um, anyhow, a lot of times I do not have graham crackers. But I will often have like 
I bought a lot of these Girl Scout cookies. Um, but I will have cookies or I will have a cracker or something like that. And a lot of times if I'm going to make a pie crust, I may not have that graham cracker. Oh, I don't want to go to the store. I don't want to go to the store. Even though it's less than a mile, I could easily walk there. I don't want to go. And part of that for me is that if I see something that's a bargain, I'm going to buy it. I have very little self-control. If I stay at a store, I stay, save a lot of money. So I have used crackers. I have used cookies. I have even used like savory crackers, like a Ritz cracker, blitzed up in here, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of melted butter. Press that all into your pie pan plate. Stick that in the oven for five to ten minutes to bake. And then fill it with your, uh, you know, whatever filling you're going to make your pie, your chocolate cream, your banana cream, your coconut cream, fruit filling, peanut butter, whatever, whatever kind of a pie you're going to make. So don't think that you're just limited to graham cracker crust or Oreo crust. Pretty much any kind of cookie, any kind of cracker, you may have to add some sugar or what have you. But I think these lemon ups are going to make this recipe extra special and delicious. Now, we're not going to cook them in the um, oven because we're just making little parfaits. And so these are just light and bright and easy to do. Really, honestly, less than 15 minutes. And this is how they look. They're kind of like a lemony shortbread kind of a thing. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and pop that down. And I'm going to say eight. Eight will probably make enough for us. But if you were going to be making a pie crust, this is the point where you would go ahead and have your melted, your melted butter. You'd add your sugar in here. Um, you know, one or two tablespoons typically. And then I'm just going to give this a quick little pulse up. And I do want these to be fairly fine. Not disintegrated. But fairly fine. And that's going to do it. Oh my gosh, they smell amazing. And we really do love a lemony dessert. So, you know, kind of finely ground. Oh, there's a chunk right there. That's, that's going to save that for a little snack for later. But, um, yeah, fairly fine. Okay, so we've got a bowl. We have our lemon curd that we made in the microwave. And I've taken it out to defrost from the freezer. I'm going to empty it into this larger size bowl here. And I have another one in case we need it. I took out two. I think we're going to need it. I think we're going to make all four cups. I was just going to make two, but you know, why not? that's about 16 ounces and each one of these should hold about four ounces if there's some left over that'll be just fine so yep today's my anniversary 29 years I'm just gonna set that over there 29 years how Andrew and I met everybody loves how we met story um, Andrew and I met through a personal ad in the newspaper you know like a million years ago when dinosaurs still roamed the earth in a galaxy far far away we met through an ad in the newspaper i'm going to start off with putting about half of this container so maybe 
four or five ounces here um, into the lemon curd. We met through an ad from the newspaper. My father had died um, about a year before. My mother was ready to start dating. I'm just incorporating this without knocking a whole lot of the air out of my uh, whipped topping. Anyhow, my father had died about a year before. My mother was ready to start, you know, dating or looking for some kind of companionship. And she said, Tanya, where do I go to meet men? And I said, oh, you know, church, bars, social club, um, you know, what have you. So will you go with me? Sure, ma'am. Absolutely. So I went to some bars and that was a bust. She didn't find anybody she liked to church. And uh, she joined a singles group. And, you know, you don't meet somebody right off the bat, typically. Typically, you know, you meet a few people. Somebody introduces you to somebody else. This is what it's looking like. Really rich and creamy. But she was in a hurry. Where, where do I find myself a man? Okay. All right. Well, you know, I'm single too. I'm young and, you know, come along with me. We'll do some stuff. We'll try to find you somebody. So she was going through the newspaper one day and she said, have you ever thought about answering one of these ads in the newspaper? And I said, well, no, not especially, you know, like, okay. Well, I really want to, Tanya. Okay, Mom. Okay, let's answer an ad. You answer an ad, I'll answer an ad, and we'll see what happens. What's the worst thing that could happen? Bad date? You know, it was a kinder, gentler time back then. We didn't think things like, were you going to, you know, meet some stranger danger who was going to take you off into the desert, chop you up into a bunch of little pieces, and leave you for the buzzards? Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario, bad date. So I, she picks the best ad in the newspaper. Come look at my airplane and I've got money and blah, 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 blah. And I picked the worst ad in the newspaper. This ad was so sad, you know, lonely, single, 20s, desperately seeks, um, you know, single white female for companionship. I, I, you know, I'm like, Oh, that's just, it was just sad. It was just pitiful. So I call, you call this number and you leave a message for somebody. You know, you describe yourself, hello, what have you. And this number charges you by the minute. So every phone call that you make to this to leave a message for some person is almost $20. So it's a pretty good investment for the 90s, you know, $20. Mm. Anyhow. I leave a message for this guy, this pitiful ad, and he calls me back about a week later. And we make plans to, you know, go out the next weekend. Except he lives about 25 miles from me. He does not drive, doesn't know how to drive, doesn't have a car. He does have a job and he does have his own place to live. And he doesn't live with his parents and I'm Okay, you got some things going on. Some things we're going to have to work on, but whatever. So, that Saturday, you know, I do all my things that I have to do, and then I get ready, and we're going to go out, supposedly. We're going to go across the street from where he lives and have dinner. This is the plan. Anyhow, so I get dressed and put gas in my car and drive 25 miles to go see this guy. I go to his apartment, again, because it's a kinder, gentler time. Not really that concerned about being chopped up and left for the buzzards. Uh, probably now that's not a good idea. It's a different time. Anyhow, I go out and I go to his apartment and I ring the bell. And this guy answers the phone or the door. He answers the door. And he is absolutely adorable and it was just oh my heart just melted and he was clean cut and he was you know dressed very informally in like shorts and a t-shirt and I had dressed up just a little bit um he invited me in he offered me kool-aid 
great Kool-Aid, bless his heart. And we never made it to dinner. We just talked and talked and talked and we could never stop talking. And it was so easy. He was so easy to talk to. And I was interested in the things that he was doing. And he, he was interested in the things I was doing. And we had a great time. Next thing I know, like, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. Right. He, both feet stayed on the floor the whole night. Perfectly innocent situation. But I could not wait to see him again. And I just knew when I left his apartment and, you know, he walked me down to my car and can I give you a little hug? And he was so nervous and sweet. He was just precious. Anyhow, that's how Andrew and I met. We couldn't get rid of each other. And honestly, even now, after all these years, we can find so much to still talk about. And you know me, I can't shut up. Anyhow, let's make this. So yeah, that's how Andrew and I met. And um, still glad to have him. So we've got our little lemon cookie crumbs. I'm gonna put some in the bottom of each one. And this is gonna be a little layered dessert. Yes, the crumbs at the very bottom do get a little bit, um, wet i wouldn't say that they're completely saturated or anything like that but honestly that's like one of my favorite textures is when you get to the bottom and it's all gooey and delicious and what have you okay to that i'm just going to go ahead and add some of our lemon whipped cream combination on top well so for the counter too you're welcome Probably I might get a better result if I used a spoon. Let's give that a try. Okay. And these are going to be super lemony. If you didn't like that much lemon with the lemon cookie and lemon cream, then by all means, I would use like a shortbread, graham cracker, Ritz cracker, whatever you got. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more of the cookie crumb on top of that. Oh, another little bit of cookie for me to enjoy later. There we go. loves the parfait and I love this recipe because I don't have to do any baking that's just I love to watch Great British Bake Off I could watch it I find it so soothing I love to watch those bakers just go to it they've got such skill I like to watch um what's her name Renee over at Little Village Homestead that woman can bake I cannot and so I do a lot of no bake desserts nobody ever seems to mind so anyhow back to the story my mom went to go see that guy with the airplane and all the money and everything he had an airplane it was in a million little bits all over um, his front yard um, I don't know if he had any money, and um, my mother had some had a few successful relationships after my father, but she never remarried again. Um, she, I, I think she really wanted to, but it just was not in the cards for her. But she did have several decent relationships. It's not like she spent her life sat and alone or anything like that. I'm going to get every little bit in here that I can. Of course, minus the mess that I spilled all over the counter. 
we got soap. It's no problem. And Gordon Ramsay, well, I love you, baby. Don't show up. It's my anniversary tonight. But if you do, I'll give you some Chinese food and one of these for the road, okay? Anyhow, she never remarried. Um, and, you know, that was okay. She was a very independent person. Um, and my mother had a very strong personality. So... There we go. There's that. You know what it's going to need is a little bit extra crumb topping on the top. And I've got just enough. There we go. You could certainly garnish this with a little bit of mint. Maybe a lemon wedge, uh, can lemon candied lemon peel would be beautiful. Um, how I'm going to serve this post Chinese food is with a little dollop of this with topping. Let's go ahead and let this get this one a little bit extra. There we go. Save that for my next cup of coffee over there. Okay. So don't they look cute in my little vintage cups? And this is this is like Melmac. It was really popular in the 60s and 70s, you know, in a galaxy far, far away. But yes, I met Andrew through a personal ad in the newspaper, and I have adored him ever since. And um Hopefully he still loves me as much as he did 29 years ago. So I'm going to pop these in the refrigerator for them to continue to set. And they will be delicious. And I love the little layers in there. I think that looks so cute. And he will think that those are extra special. So that came together in no time at all. And there's hardly any cleanup. Yay, hooray. I'm going to get on with my anniversary. Hey, if it's your anniversary too, Happy anniversary. If it's not, well, happy anniversary in the future. And uh, if you want to tell me your story of how you met your significant other, your spouse, your loved one, you know, whoever you got rattling around with you, um, go ahead and do so down in the comments. But have a great day. I'm going to. And be good. Be careful. Look both ways. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous. Yay!